What's up everybody? This is Chris aka Hellgaten and today we're doing a build for Coalition Gaming member Garrett aka Lamau. Let's have a look at the components. What we've got here is a Corsair Obsidian 450D mid tower case, an Asus Z170 Pro gaming motherboard, a Corsair RM750 power supply, a Founders Edition GeForce GTX 1070, an Intel Core i7-6700K, a couple of Corsair AF120 Quiet Edition red LED fans, a Corsair H60 CPU cooler, Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM. As you can see, there's a lot of Corsair here, and if Corsair made more components, there'd be a lot more of it here still. We've also got a Samsung 850 Pro SSD 512 gig, a Seagate storage drive, and a couple of fan splitters. So we're doing this build for Garrett, which is going to be a complete overhaul of his system. He's coming from a, com a very budget-oriented computer, and this is just blowing it out of the water. It's an absolute beast of a setup. And you're gonna see how quickly we can go through it and how simple it is to build. So if you're looking to upgrade and you're looking to do your own thing, build your own setup, it's pretty simple, you check it out. So we're going to be placing the processor right now. Most motherboards when you're buying new come with a socket protector. So you want to unlatch the ZIF lever. Pull it up and you see how this comes up. Then you just pop out the protector. There you go. That reveals the socket. So we have the processor right here pull it out of the, the packaging. And it's pretty common knowledge nowadays that processors have a little arrow that are notched. And you can see the arrow on the top left there. But nowadays the processors are also notched on the side, right on the PCB. You see two little notches, one on the top, one on the bottom where my pinky is. And with that notch, you just line it up into the notches on the board, which happen to be over here on this side and you just place it like that. Just like that. Once it's placed, close the socket protector and you just tighten down the zip socket. And there you go, processor is installed. What we've got here is the IO shield. It happens to the best of us, but a lot of the times people forget to put these in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in pretty much right away. There you go. All right, we're installing the motherboard now. I finished eyeballing where it's gonna go in here. It's a full ATX motherboard, so we have to match it up so the full ATX holes inside the case. On top of that, you gotta make sure there's nothing that's gonna be uh, shorting out the bottom of the motherboard or anything like that. So let's go ahead and drop that in. Okay, once the motherboard is placed and all the holes are lined up, it's just time to screw it in, as simple as it gets. We're going to be installing the RAM now. It's a very simple process with the RAM. Make sure that your latches are unlatched or, a, or a, in the open position and we're going to go ahead and drop them in. Something that's important as you see here we have alternating colors of dim sockets. You want to get it in dual channel mode. Generally that's to put it in the same colored sockets that are alternated. So we're going to go here and we're going to go here. locked in. There you go.
Next, we're gonna be installing the power supply. These ones are a lot simpler to install, especially since uh, they've moved them into the bottom of the cases in uh, recent years, which is not that recently, honestly, but it's nice to have. It's just a matter of dropping it in. This one already has the cables plugged in. We'll be running them through the back, through the grommet on the bottom. And it's just a matter of dropping it in and then screwing it in. Just like that. And we're gonna be running these through the back now. Everything you said we already knew, more or less. Oh, well, here's something that you didn't know. So we're gonna be installing the fans now. The uh, Corsair AF120 red LED fans. They're really nice. Uh, one important thing with the fans is you want to pre-thread the fans, the, the plastic. It's really important that you do this because if you try to thread it while you're installing the fan, you're going to need to put a lot of pressure on it. It could be a little awkward. If you pre-thread it ahead of time, just get the thread started. And once you actually go to put it in the case, it'll be a lot easier. We're going to put this one in the bottom of the case as an, as an exhaust. Some fans have a marking that show you which way the airflow goes. This fan doesn't appear to. And, uh, but the general rule of thumb with these fans, or with any case fan in general, is that the label is where it intakes. So it look, the air is going to go this way. This kind of uh, manufacturer label, with little specs, little model number, is generally where the air is coming out of. So we're looking at it this way. We're going to set up as an, as an exhaust like this in the case, and the air is going to flow this way from inside the case to outside. So there's also two intake fans already installed in the case. This is from the factory. We're gonna be adding three fans on the top. We're probably gonna uh, set those up as an intake as well. And the back is going to be with a radiator as an exhaust. It's gonna be a positive pressure setup. Let's do a little night. Okay, up next is the all-in-one cooler. We're gonna be installing this H60. Uh, gotta prepare for it though, so let's unbox it, bolt the fans to it, and let's get ready. We've got here the Corsair H60 all-in-one unit. It's got a 120 millimeter radiator. This right here is the pump. Uh, this is not the Acetec design, this is their other design. I forget the OEM that, uh, that it's called, but uh, the nice thing about these units is there's really been no maintenance to them. Install it, and you're good to go. Set it and forget it. Another thing with the all-in-one units is uh, they come with multiple socket brackets so you can put it in basically any setup you can think of. So here are the different brackets. We'll see which one I got to use right now. I have a feeling it's going to be like uh, this one probably. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna be putting about a grain of rice to pea size of thermal paste right in the center here. And then we just put the, the pump right on top. It'll spread out right under it. That's generally about the right size to do it. So let's go for it. So this case comes with a really nice tool to set up for the uh, hard drives. The, the solid state is already in its adapter and they're already in the carrier. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in right now. For the glorious moment, getting the graphics card in here. The 1070 is gonna run great in this beast. Last touches before it's all done. Yeah. There you go.
All right, everybody, another successful build. Special thanks to my brother, Eric, AKA Tech Lancer. Wayne, AKA Weasonator, he helped a little bit in there as well as uh, shot this whole thing and edited it. We've got a really good setup going. We got to install Windows on it. If you liked what we did here, if you liked the video, make sure you click that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. See you guys. I get. I take your recording. Yes. <laughs> Always recording.